Hey guys, it's Eric from Camera Studios, and today I'm gonna do be doing a what's in my GoPro case. So let's get started after the intro. So, the case I'm using to carry all my equipment in is a Smartree GA702 case. Um, it's a really nice case, it's rugged, uh, it's waterproof, and it floats. So, yeah, that's basically why I chose this case. Um, put a link down in the description to where you can buy this case on Amazon, and I'll put a link to the uh, Smartree's own website. So, um, yeah. So let's take a look into this case. It has uh, two nice strong clips. Not super hard to open, but you feel that they're keeping it closed well. Um, and then here, when you open up the case, uh, you see all my stuff inside. But it's like it's like the Pelican cases. It um, has foam inside. Um, and um, here's the O-ring. Well, you can see the O-ring, uh, which keeps it waterproof. Um, the case is not, this case is not like one of the Pelican cases. It comes with pre-cut foam, so you can just take the pieces out for what you need. Um, and so that's good. You don't have to cut a lot. So the GA702 comes with a slot. So in my go, I have um. Well, it. There's space for two GoPros, but since I only have one, I carry um, uh, I ha carry the GoPro loose in one, which I took out the um, pre-cut and cut it for um, uh, cut that so that it would um, uh, fit my GoPro inside nice and snug. And then I use the other one to keep my housing in, uh, cause it's the best way to. The best way to store your um, GoPro housing is to um, to keep it uh, open and so that the O-ring doesn't get um, uh, overused, you know. So um, here I carry. I have a, a quick release. Then uh, I have um, uh, this is a short quick release, and then I have two J hooks which I carry in the battery slots because um, yeah and then I carry with me um, here the two 90 degree turners the long and the short one and here I carry with me two one long bolt and then another long bolt and then I carry a short bolt so yeah that keeps me stocked I um, have the, there's a special place for the remote housing to stay, so I carry that uh, together with the uh, skeleton back door because I keep it loose. And here uh, I keep um, the waterproof back door in the, in the battery housing, I mean in the slot which is meant for the battery. So, and then I also carry my um, tripod adapter here I carry with me an extra micro SD card it's always handy to have an extra and so here is where I carry my um, my GoPro housing inside my GoPro housing I've stuffed um, microfiber cloth just when I need it and it's a good way one thing I don't like about this case is that they have made um, the slots for your um, for the buttons on the housing on the wrong side or maybe they meant for you to put it upside down but it has to be upside down so I don't really like that and here I carry my GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition the main reason I chose this case instead of one of the Pelican cases is because it comes with two layers so you can take the first layer out and then you have the bottom layer so in this bottom layer I carry 
my, I think it's 19 inch pole from SP Gadgets. Um, I carry my chesty. Um, and I carry tethers that I've made myself just because it's good to have them. Uh, also inside here, I keep two quick, I mean, I keep two adhesive mounts. The flat, a curved one and a flat one. It's always good to have one with you. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Uh, please comment if you have any questions. Um, yeah, I think that's it for this video and see you in the next one.